Hollow API, an amazing new bucket plugin that allows you to easily and quickly implement holograms into your server. That's right. And the cool thing about this is it actually directly puts it into your save file, so even after you remove the plugin, you're able to actually keep the hologram, which is really, really cool in and of itself. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started and let's go over what this plugin does. Essentially, it's a quick and easy way to add holograms to your server. What are holograms? Well, they're basically these little floating signs that basically follow you wherever you go and turn to give you the best view. Unfortunately, on top, I try to turn over and it doesn't really work very well on top of each other, but still a very cool thing. You can use them to create text, you can use them to create images, and even GIFs, but I don't have an example here. In this example, I created a server hub, and I'm going to be using um, the plugin to create some cool little signs, such as the Creative Plot World server and the Faction PvP server sign, as well as some floating things like you could put your server symbol or whatever right here. Oh, I put redstone in. So let's go ahead and take a look at the um, installation and configuration of the plugin first. So, um, obviously, Hollow API, you're going to go to this link, I'll put it in the description box below, and if you're already on the page, because they were nice enough to put it on the page, then you guys know where to get it from. Anyway, I would suggest downloading the dev builds, because they're the most up-to-date and buggiest, although you can hit this download button here to get the newest version that's been approved by Bucket. Also, be careful if you're downloading from here, this is not approved by Bucket, and therefore, they are not responsible for any issues that come with it. Anyway, hit that to download it, and then install in your plugins folder, and restart your server. Once you've done that, you'll get a nice folder that looks a little something like this, and it's a lot of files. So let's go over each one individually. Data.yml and holoapi.yml, you don't really have to touch. There's not really much to them that you really have to worry about. Language.yml, you most likely aren't going to be touching it, although if you do open it up, you'll see that it'll actually um, just be a bunch of text messages, and you have to go ahead and configure them. The defaults are perfectly fine, although you guys can change them if you do... Um, you want to. As far as the images and animations folder, basically this is where you save the files for your animations and images, and then your config is this thing right here. Although it's going to be a little bit, a um, little bit less than this at first. Really, all you're going to have is this much here, and the rest of it is up to you to add. So I'll be sure to leave some um, the links to more information about adding to the configuration file. Anyway. We're going to go over what each um, option does. Primary chat color. This is the number one chat color that is used in the messages, the main one that they use. The secondary is just the one they use for arguments. So when it says hologram ID 9, for example, that's what they use right there. The auto update, basically, if there's a new update available, it'll automatically download it from Bucket for you. Check for updates, basically, it'll tell you when there's a new update available. And vertical line spacing is just the amount of space between each line in a text hologram like this. Between this line and this line, this little space right here. That's what that is. Um, now let's go to chat bubbles first because it's the easiest. Basically, you can have nice little chat bubbles. So say I were to say, hello there. You'll see that we get a nice little message over our head that's going to follow us and say hello there. Pretty darn cool. And you can also say some other interesting stuff. Like, say, hello there, my name is Kyle. How are you today? I am doing well. Thanks. This is a cool plugin. You'll see we'll get a long string of text, although it'll be there and people can read it, and uh, it's pretty darn cool. And then uh, that's that. So we got some configuration options here. True basically just means that they're enabled or they're disabled. Rise, if we go ahead and set this to true here, save it, and then do slash hollow reload and say hello, you'll see basically it'll do a little bit of like a fading out um, effect there, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now follow player just basically means when I move around, it'll move around with me, um, hello. If I don't have this on, then it will basically just stay where it was when I actually sent the message. Display duration seconds is basically how long it's there after I chat, so if I do hollow reload now, hi, it's there for a second and then it disappears. And then format basically is just the the look of my name when um, I chat. So now it's going to be red. And so that is that. All right. So now let's get into the images, text, and creating and managing our holograms. So first, let's go ahead and create a hologram. The first type is a text hologram, and it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is get to the place where you want to have it. So say here. And then do slash hollow create. All right. Now basically what we do is we text. You type in the uh, the lines that you'd like to add to it. Each um, each message that you put is another line. So if I want to 
add in that little line at the top here. I do and six, and then I do that, and then and four, and then I do that, and then I can go ahead and copy that and just paste it in a couple of times, like so. So that's one line. Then I want to say, um, you know, let's say mini games. So and nine and L. This is of course using the bucket um, chat colors. So mini games, and then I'll put in another line of text. Then I just type done, and it'll add it in for me. And that is that. Pretty cool. Um, little simple thing, and it's pretty easy to do, and it's all good. So now let's say that we wanted to add a text or an image. It's a little bit more challenging, but it's not that bad. All you're gonna do is open up your text, um, your config, and basically you're gonna create a new thing that looks a bit like this right here. And then for each image, you're gonna create a new one like this. So right there. And basically, there's a couple different options. Let's start from the um, type. Basically, URL means that it's going to grab the image from the internet, uh, internet page, and it's going to um, use that. If you guys want to use something like that, what you do is find an image you want to use, and then right-click and hit Show Image in New Tab. It'll be just that image alone, and that's the way we need it to be. You can then go ahead and copy and paste that image right there. All right, next up is the um, path. If the type is URL, we add in the URL, which I just copied, for example. And if the type is file, then we just add the path um, for the file. So in this example, if you look in my images folder, you'll see that it is right here. So that's what we're just putting in as Redstone PNG. No need to add images, slash, or etc. Um, character type. This is basically the way that the characters look. So for example, this is the dark um, option right here. Now if I wanted to go ahead and do this, I could do uh, hollow create image and then just redstone and you'll see what this looks like here. There's just these little blocks and they in my opinion look a little bit nicer. Um, the requires border is a little is a little bit of a change. Basically when it's set to false and it's a PNG file, basically it'll trim the border like this and you won't see all this extra clear stuff right here. If you set it to false, all the transparent areas of the PNG will be filled in with um, empty chat, and it doesn't look as nice, so I suggest setting that to true. The same thing works uh, basically for animations. The only difference is if you want to go to the wiki here, go to configuration, basically you just copy this right here and add this in right here, and basically this is this. You just name each one like so. Now the path and the type work the same as this one. The character type works the same as this one. Height works the same as this one. Oh, I'm sorry, I want to mention the height is basically just how many pixels tall it is. And uh, it'll do the rest. Okay, and the frame rate is how many ticks each frame is. In a GIF, there is just frames and it's an animation. Basically what you do is you can set a ticks that each animation takes, how many times between each frame. Requires Bubble does the same exact thing. You save it and you're all good. I'm not going to show that, however. Alright, so now let's say we wanted to manage our holograms. What we can do is do slash hollow uh, help, and we can see our, all our information. We've already used create and create an image. Create image animation is basically the same as create an image, but with an ID. Remember, it uses this name here um, to create it. Remove. Basically, we can remove a uh, hologram that we don't like. But how do we find out which hologram we don't want? Well, we can do slash hollow and then info. It'll list all of our holograms in the world, and we can see which one we want to remove. So we want to find the this one. Um, let's see. Yep, that looks like it. So we know that it is hologram number 9. So if we want to remove it, we just do hollow remove 9, and you'll see that it'll remove itself. Now it's asking we would like to clear the hologram from the save file. This basically means um, the plugin doesn't view it right now, but if you remove the plugin, it'd be shown again. If we want to delete it from the save file, we type yes, and if we don't, we type no. But this one is going to remove from the file in the memory, and it won't ever show up again. We can do hollow help too, and we can view the other page to the help. Now let's say we wanted to move a hologram. Say we wanted this to be our new factions portal. What we can do is go back to our hall of info and find which one was the factions. So it's hologram number two. Go to where we want hologram number two to be. So say we want it to be here. Then we do hollow move and two. And it's now moved there, and it's gone from there. Pretty cool. Hollow teleport in the ID. Basically, this just teleports you to the location of it. So if I just want to hollow teleport and then two, I'll come to where it, hollow, or it is. Sorry about that. Uh oh. All right. Sorry about that. Um, hollow build. Basically, it allows you to create a combination of text, images, and animation. So I want to do that. 
intervallic image line type, so let's just do um, text. Um, actually, hollow help build. I'm not really sure how that one works. Anyway, hollow reload will reload the configuration data, etc., so that it gets everything saved and works all properly. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the tutorial, please comment, rate, and subscribe to join the royalty today. And if you guys have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. Check out the plugin, which is in the description box as well. And uh, be sure to check out the plugin and install it on your server and have a lot of fun with it. And uh, definitely let the developers know what a great job they did on the amazing plugin. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, see ya.